and uh, many other uh, uh, many others Zoroastrians and so forth. Um, Iran is a uh, um, very old country, uh, has a very old history. Um, I, the Iran's written history uh, begins around uh, 3200 BC. Uh, religion was always uh, a part of an important component of uh, the Iranian culture and society back then to uh, present situation. Uh, around 1000 BC, Zoroastrianism uh, became a state religion uh, under the uh, uh, Ashamanid uh, uh, Empire and later uh, Iranian Persian empires until the 7th century when Islam came about invading Iran and Iran was uh, converted to, uh, or the majority of Iranians were converted to uh, Islam. Uh, the most important figure maybe in the Iranian uh, uh, history is Cyrus the Great, uh, who established a unified empire, uh, Ashamanid empire, uh, around uh, in the, uh, uh, 648 to 330 BC. Uh, he is considered uh, uh, by a number of uh, authors uh, uh, as the world's uh, oldest human rights uh, 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 soldier. Uh, his declaration is extremely prominent. Uh, the uh, Cyrus Cylinder or Cyrus Charter, you probably heard about that, is uh, translated by UN in 1971 in all official language uh, of, uh, of the UN. Uh, a replica of uh, uh, the Charter has been uh, on display at the UN headquarters in New York. Um, as a tribute to uh, what he did in terms of, uh, of human rights and so tolerance, respect of others, and so forth. Um, the other uh, maybe important uh, um, question about uh, uh, him is uh, uh, a book written by uh, uh, Xenophon, uh, the uh, Athenian historian. Uh, the title of his book is uh, uh, Cyropedia, or the translation is uh, The Education of Cyrus. Uh, this book uh, uh, describes the education of the ideal ruler uh, based on uh, the activities, the uh, uh, public law, uh, uh, process of decision making, interpretation, and so forth. So, in other words, uh, 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 the uh, um, there is no, in, in, in Islam and in Shiism certainly, there is no such a thing as, unless the Iranians are in the process of creating one, there is no Vatican where you, uh, there is Pope and the uh, interpretation of Pope is really uh, the one that uh, all uh, believers uh, follow. In the case of uh, uh, Iran at least, and Shiism in general, uh, uh, the, to the number of Ayatollahs you have, uh, uh, interpretation to the number of uh, uh, Iranians probably you have interpretation of what uh, Islam is about and uh, uh, it's good as it, and it's bad. It's good because uh, it, it, as I said, it leaves really open the door to interpretation, to adaptation of uh, what the religion is and how it should be adapted to, uh, to, the, to, to the reality of the world and so forth. Uh, it's bad because it creates a lot of headache for those who uh, study it. But nevertheless, it's very interesting, really, the, 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 this situation. So, uh, uh, for uh, the, there are a number of, uh, of uh, um, uh, established facts for, uh, uh, for Muslims, those, uh, uh, practice, those who practice the religion. Uh, one of them is that uh, uh, God created laws uh, for mankind and only God has the authority uh, to do so. Uh, God appointed uh, messengers to convey uh, the laws of, uh, to mankind. Uh, and for Shias, uh, God, uh, they believe that God appointed imams uh, to guide mankind about the laws. And in the absence of uh, the Shias 12th uh, imam, Al-Mahdi, probably you heard the name, uh, uh, who is in uh, accolation, uh, uh, qualified jurists or mushtahids, mushtahid comes from Ishtahad, as I mentioned earlier, uh, have the duty to find, explore, make accessible uh, God's laws 
not creating uh, God's laws, uh, but through their ishtihad, uh, interpreting uh, what the law, uh, the, the law that exists, or as I said, adapted really to, uh, to the reality. This means uh, that parliament in the Islamic Republic of Iran has no other function uh, than uh, extracting uh, ordinary laws from the existing uh, divine sources uh, to organize the society. So that's a very, very important really issue when we look at the uh, Iranian parliament and uh, how that parliament functions. In other words, uh, they cannot uh, do anything uh, that is going to uh, put into question really those two fundamental uh, sources of law, the Sharia, the uh, Quran, and the Hadith. Uh, I have a, 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 a picture here. Uh, it comes from uh, uh, a research published uh, uh, with a colleague uh, uh, two, three years ago, uh, and it shows really the structure of power in Iran.